Hey everyone, Austin here at The Real Seal, back for another blog video to talk about how much is foundation repair? Now we get this question a lot when people call the office and obviously when our reps come out to provide a free quote, but it's good for us to go over so that we can explain to you and you can understand how this kind of stuff is priced out so you can further understand what you're looking into. Now, let's start all the way at the left here with our wall plates and C-channels. Now these are priced quite the same and uh, as with most of everything, it's priced per plate or C-channel. So if we have a standard wall and we're just gonna call it an eight foot tall wall where these plates or and or C-channels are on them, it's gonna be priced out per plate. Now we have an equation that shows us how many plates we need to use per wall. Typically, we start at four feet from the corner and go anywhere between four and six feet between each plate. Now, every plate is priced a little bit differently depending on what we have for access outside the home. So if you've got a house and you've got a big patio here that we have to put extensions on, well, it's gonna be a little bit more than the standard price, right? If you've got a big tree we've gotta dig out, bushes in the way, all of that adds to the price. But each of these plates can be anywhere between $800 and $1,000 per plate, typically. Again, it's a little bit different on every single job, but you can kind of gauge if you're four to six feet apart, four feet from the corners, how long your wall is, you can start to get a little ballpark figure going in your head to figure out how much you're gonna have to spend for this repair. Carbon fiber is done in much the same way where we have a wall and we have the carbon fiber here. We do four feet from the corners and we do them five feet apart. With the carbon fiber, it's the same kind of thing. We price it per foot, but we come up with a price by the height of the wall so we can make it easy. You're looking about $900 per strap to install this. So again, if you've got a wall that's 50 feet long, you can determine, all right, I'm four feet from each corner, so now I only have 42 feet left. Every five feet or so, you're gonna have about eight more straps. You're gonna be looking at about eight to 10 straps on there at, a, at this price. Really, you're looking at under $9,000 get that wall arrested without any more movement for the life of the foundation, which is a fantastic deal when we're talking about foundation repair and why carbon fiber is one of our most favorite and preferred methods of repairing a foundation when possible. Piers, now if we're looking at a bird's eye view of a home, sometimes you can have sections like that of your home that are sinking. So it's hard to be able to give you some information so you can make a ballpark guess at how much this is going to cost because a lot of times we have to investigate to see exactly where the house is falling and how many piers are needed in order to support the structure but if just this uh, section is falling we tend to do two feet from the corners and about four feet on center for those piers and so each pier is roughly two thousand dollars a pier now, it gives or takes, depending on the situation, the clearance, but one big benefit when you work with Real Seal is we do not have any depth clauses. A depth clause is where you will have a fine print in the contract that says, well, these piers that we're quoting you only are gonna go to 30 feet. For every foot that they go deeper, we're gonna charge you a set dollar amount. Many times, doubling the price of your original quote while you're already locked in. And so it's very important that no depth clauses are used whenever you work with the company because you want to make sure that the price that you see is the price that you're paying. How would you feel going to a car dealership? We've all been there, right? Where they're like, hey, your car is going to be eight grand. And then at the end, they're like, actually, with everything included, it's 12 grand. <sighs> Drives you nuts. Here we wanna make sure you get what you see and what you pay for and you know what's coming your way. So again, those piers are spaced about four feet apart to ensure that you have a good foundation uh, support system. But depending on the composition of the wall, the height of the wall, whether there's a footing there or not, we may put those piers further together or farther apart. 
So it's something to keep in mind that's a very ballpark figure, and it's really hard to calculate that on your own unless you know how to find out where your foundation is sinking. And then lastly, we have the cracks, and these are probably the easiest ones, where you have cracks running up and down your wall. Typically for an eight foot crack, we're charging anywhere between $450 and $500 to epoxy inject those cracks. That'll put an epoxy in there and stop any water from coming through it for the life of the foundation. Now, if you need to do carbon fiber staples on there, what we call grid stitch repair, and we embed those into the concrete, you can expect that price to just about double and that'll give it structural reinforcement and a better warranty as well. Again, these are some good ballpark prices that you can start running off of and just use to get yourself a budget for a project so that when you uh, know you have to have something done, you can kind of get your head wrapped around what you're going to get into without getting scared or getting just a big bulb, just a big uh, conglomerate price at the bottom of a contract. Any contract you get should be split up so you can exactly see what you are paying for. If you have any questions at all, shoot us a message or give us a call at The Real Seal, where not everything's better when wet.